leave out the yeast for now. Give that a good stir around. So make sure you mix your... Now you can, if you want to, try and keep them nice and straight. They do look good though, don't they? So for a hot cross bun, you want 388 grams of strong white flour, 48 grams of caster sugar, 50 grams of egg, eight grams of bread improver, 44 grams of cake margarine, or you can use butter, or you can actually use white shortening if you want, 48 grams of fresh yeast, or if you want to use dried yeast, it's around about 24 grams, give or take. 150 milliliters of water, eight grams of milk powder, 150 grams of raisins, two tablespoons of mixed spice, or you can only use one tablespoon of spiced oil. So we'll start off by adding all our dry ingredients into the machine bowl, like that. Leave out the yeast for now. Give that a good stir around. And we'll get that straight onto the machine. So we start our machine off on first speed. Now we add in the liquid. Put some of it in first. Then add in the yeast. And then the rest of the liquid. And we're going to give this one minute on first speed. Right, we're now going to knock this onto second speed and then we're going to mix that for eight minutes. Right, we'll just check the dough. So make sure you mix your spice into your fruit well. As you can see, I've got oil in mine. It sticks to the fruit. But if you're using the dried stuff, exactly the same thing. Just make sure it's all around the fruit. So we'll just put that straight into the dough. And we'll carry on mixing this for another two minutes. So we'll start it off on first speed. All right, now we'll knock it on to second speed. Just scrape that off the hook first. Right, our dough's ready. So we'll get this straight onto the table. And that's our dough, just got that out. Now what we need to be doing is scaling this straight off at four ounces and then we're going to split them and mold them round. And the best way of cutting them up is just cutting them into lines first, all right? Like that. And then you're almost close. Once you've got the right amount, you can then sort of guide it roughly to where you want to be. This is our baking tray. Now on that, you want silicone paper or baking parchment. So the best way of doing these, mold them out long first and split them like that, okay? Mold them out long, split. And all we do is mold them round like this, okay? And we're sort of pushing them into the table so they're nice and round, okay? And then put them straight onto the tray. And there's our hot cross buns. Now all we need to do with these now is put them into a prover. Now you want to be proving these around about 30 Celsius. That's the sort of the lowest temperature, give or take, you can get away with. You can go down to about 25, but you're better off 30 Celsius for proving. Now you can, if you want to, just cover them with plastic, but just make sure it stays off the dough. That's if you've got a nice warm area but I'm going to get them straight into my prover. And they're going to prove for around about one hour. Well, our hot cross buns are ready. So we're going to cross these. Now, if you haven't seen a previous video, this is crossing paste. All this in here is water, flour, and oil. There is a recipe in the description. So we'll just cross these buns. Try and keep them nice and straight. Right, we'll get them straight into the oven.
Now the oven temperature for your hot cross buns are around about 400 Fahrenheit. Now this is around about 200 Celsius, and that's give or take. If you're on a fan of assisted oven, you're around about 190. And they'll be baking in there for around about 10 minutes, give or take. And in your oven at home, you'll probably need to turn them around halfway through. So five minutes in, look at them. Mind you, it depends on your oven. If your oven's like my oven at home, it's quite quick. Look at those little babies. Now today I've been using some different flour. They're quite what I call raised up a lot. As soon as they come out, we're well, gonna wash them over with bum wash. And all this is, it's golden syrup and water, 50-50. I'm afraid they're probably gonna be full of air today. I don't know. They do look good though, don't they, folk? Look at those. There we go, folks. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And if you fancy buying me a coffee, there's a link up here. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! You can pop them out or they should just come out the tin. Like that. And there you go. Cool, they look cracking. But just to finish them off, what we need is some bum wash. Just on the top, just like that.